afternoon and welcome to my garage. This afternoon uh, my goal is to make a, about a 10, maybe 12 minute video in total on how to build a, uh, a 280 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery. Uh, my intention is not to go into the benefits of lithium phosphate versus lithium versus uh, lead acid. Uh, all those things you can look up on Google. But just know that the lithium phosphate is a very light battery. I can take these four cells right here, build it into 280 amp hours, uh, 12 volts. And uh, this is basically equivalent to usable amp hours uh, for golf cart batteries. So if you know what those are, this is probably about 25% of the weight and size of that. So if you have an RV or something that you're trying to keep the weight down in and you want something that's reliable, will last for many, many years, lithium is the way to go. And uh, they're very expensive. If you used to price these things and go out and buy a 100 amp hour lithium battery from somebody like Battleborn, it costs you about $950. You can find them ranging to $500 a piece. But you literally have to spend $1,500 to close to $3,000 to get 300 amp hours of lithium ion phosphate batteries. Whereas uh, this, these batteries here, I ordered individually, ordered the uh, battery management system here, and uh, a few other little components, I'll, I'll roughly have around $550 into that 280 amp hours. And these are usable. As you know, you can take lithium phosphate down all the way to zero uh, and uh, charge them back up. And these particular batteries are grade A. Uh, I got them from China, and that's where all the lithium comes from. Uh, these particular batteries are, are grade A. And uh, they've probably got a good 3,000 cycles on them. If you do the math, these things are going to last you for many, many years. So uh, I'm going to take these things and uh, I'm going to ultimately top balance them. Uh, actually, I've already top balanced these, but I don't have time or don't want to take the time in this video to go into how to top balance these things. But it's something that needs to be done. You can Google top balancing lithium batteries and you can find a lot of videos out there. But essentially, you're going to put all four of these in parallel. You're going to set this power supply to 3.6 volts. You're going to put it on there and you're going to charge it until the current goes down to zero and the voltage in all the cells is the same at 3.6 volts. That's it in a nutshell how you top balance the battery. But they have to be top balanced and then you have to assemble them into a case, uh, hook up the battery management uh, computer, activate it and do all those things. So what I'm going to try to do in this video is just uh, show you how I put all that together. Uh, all these wires have to go on. I've already taken and crypt the connectors on and, and there's various things you have to do there. But I'm just going to uh, roughly um, assemble this thing into a Group 27 marine battery case, put the BMS in it, and then when I'm all done, I'm going to uh, test this thing. I'm going to do a capacity test to make sure that I get 280 amp hours out of this thing. And I'll take you through that process because I think there's some value in that. Uh, you buy these batteries, they advertise at 280 amps. There's all kinds of different quality of cells out there from Alibaba and AliExpress and different places. And uh, the only way to find out if you're going to get them is to hook your BMS, hook it all up, and actually do a test. So I'll ultimately take this 1500 watt inverter here, and I've got a little uh, uh, 1500 watt uh, heater, and uh, with, between the two of these things, they're going to draw quite a bit of current out of all these down to see how many amp hours we get. So uh, this here is the uh, charger that I'll charge it back up with when I'm done, and this is uh, a little power supply unit for top balancing. But anyway, I'm going to take all you see here and uh, assemble it into the battery. Uh, and uh, we'll see how it all works. But uh, this is, uh, again, this could be an overview. Um, if you're going to do something like this on your own, you need to do a little research on how to do this. Like I said, this is just going to be one of many videos out there. And uh, hopefully we'll just give you the confidence that you too can do this yourself. You don't need to go out and spend $2,800 on batteries. You can do it for about $550 and get one. That's probably actually going to be better, and I'll, I'll tell you why, uh, in terms of uh, being able to monitor the things. But in any case, uh, let me get started with that. Okay, so I put the batteries uh, in here. You can see positive, negative, positive, negative. That's how you want to put them in the case. Um, this is a Group 27 Marine battery case. And what I did was I just had some of this kind of packing foam, this kind of stuff you get with things from Amazon or whatever. And I laid a piece in the bottom and I put it around the sides as well. Uh, just kind of hold these in here tight, uh, you know, make it nice and secure and to uh, take the vibration out. Now to take these uh, four uh, 3.2 volt cells and make them into a 12.8 volt battery uh, the only thing you need to do is connect them up in series uh, remember when I told you I top balanced them they were in parallel so it would have been all positives and all negatives and I put I put the 3.6 volts on it uh, charge them up and top balance them now it's a uh, positive negative so to put them in series you literally uh, you go positive to negative positive to negative 
positive to negative. You'll have three bars on there, and this will be your positive terminal and your negative terminal, just like on a regular battery. And I'm not going to do it right now, if I was to put my multimeter on there, you'd see the 12 volts. So I'm going to turn the camera off here real quick, and then I'm going to connect up these wires. And these wires got to go on each cell, with the negative one going here, the first red wire going on the positive, second one going on the third, you know, second positive, third, and fourth, and on through. So I'm going to go ahead and hook those up for you real quick, and uh, then I'll, uh, I'll start filming again. Okay, I spared you some of the boring work, but uh, what I've got done here, as you can see, I've got the negative, first positive, second positive, third positive, and fourth positive, all lined up with these connectors right here. It's very important you do them in order. Uh, very, very important, and they'll stress that in the instructions as well. But you can see I got them all on here. I got them tie wrapped down. I've left this terminal here loose and this one here loose because I have to connect some wires up to that in a moment. But this is what we'll plug into the BMS, and these are the uh, sense wires. So I've got the battery pretty tight in the case here, and I've got all the sense wires ready to go. All these bars are tightened down. I'll tighten these down in a moment. Let me move over here and see what I got. This is the top of the case, uh, the battery case. So what I've done is, you can see the BMS is up in here, and the wires will connect there in a moment. Uh, I've got the thermal couple in. I've got the Bluetooth uh, in. Bluetooth is kind of laying down in here. I've got two-sided tape holding that in the cover. You can see that there. Uh, you can see that the uh, P- minus goes through the top cover. And you can see I have a positive wire coming in uh, that will ultimately attach to the positive on the battery. But this is how it's going to go together. Uh, the, the BMS is in there. And I'll lay a piece of foam like this across all the terminals on top here when I put it together. But then if you flip this over, like a regular battery case, um, there'll be a strap that goes over this to hold it down. But you can see the positive and negative terminal. And uh, so you'll just be able to hook stuff up to it like a regular battery uh, when we're all done. So you can get a look at that. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go ahead and get this onto, onto this and uh, connect everything up uh, and then I'll start hooking up the externals uh, to run the capacity test on this thing. So just a real quick look, again, foam sitting down in a Group 27 case, positive, negative, positive, negative, got the bars on in series, okay, and then I've got a, uh, my sense lines on in order of the connector. So those are all very important steps right there. And again, as I mentioned earlier, this needs to be top balanced before you put it all together. Google top balancing. Uh, so then I just, like I said, again, I just chose to use this cover. I, I was kind of deciding how I was going to do this. And so everything is neatly up in here. Uh, and so uh, that's how I did it. So I'm going to shut this off again, and I'll come back when I have it all together and ready to capacity test. Okay, here we go. We're all set up for the capacity test. Got the battery here. The uh, this, this power supply here is not being used. This one I will use to charge back up. I got it hooked up and unplugged. 280 amp hour battery. There's a 500 amp shunt. This is the monitor, so this will be monitored in the discharge. And I'll also be monitored on the app. 1500 watt inverter hooked up to the battery through the shunt so we can monitor the current. And then this, uh, this uh, filament type heater. It draws 1500 watts and 750 on low. So I'm gonna put it on low. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on now and let this thing run until the BMS shuts it off. And, and uh, we'll see if these 280 amp hours of batteries are really 280 amp hours. Right now you can see I got 14.4 volts. Some standby current being drawn there a couple watts from the, uh, from the, uh, the inverter here. So here we go, inverter on. Hopefully all this is gonna work. Inverter on. There we go, and uh, there we go. You can see that drawing uh, 776 watts um, minus 57.3 amps. So at 200 some amp hours, if you do the math on that thing, 280 amp hours, I should be uh, about two and a half hours into this. So uh, let's see what time it is now. I don't know. I'll check it in a minute. But uh, we're gonna watch this thing. We're just gonna let it run. So here we go, and uh, I'm just going to let it run. We'll come back and see how it's doing. Okay, we're still at the capacity test. The uh, system has been running for a little, almost two and a half hours now. Um, I finally figured out what the uh, reading was here, the uh, 202. That's time remaining uh, based on the amp hours and the, and the flow rate. So. That thing uh, will fluctuate depending on the load, but it's basically got about two hours left of this test. I'm about 46% through, 120, 80, 128 amp hours remaining left. So we'll see how that goes. 
The interesting thing here is this thing is maintaining voltage at 12.6 uh, volts, which is awesome. If you look here, you can see the batteries. Uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, but the batteries are still in good shape. All running about 3.2 something. 35 degrees C, which is about, I don't know, I want to say about 87 to 90 degrees, somewhere in there inside that box, uh, which is good. Nothing's getting warm in there. That's slightly about room temperature. Um, and then, uh, you can see here, inverter's still running well. So, anyway, we'll give it another two hours and we'll be back. But everything seems to be running good so far. I'm pretty happy. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap this test up. I'm down here. I don't know if you can see this. I'm at 0.4 amps uh, hours left. I'm at 0%. That means when I get to zero here, I've got the full 280. Uh, my cells are 11.5. The first one's just started dropping below 3 volts. Uh, let me see if I can get the app up here. Uh, yeah, you can see the... Uh, that's not at 2.94. Uh, there it is. I got 280 amp hours. You can see it going. So I'm going to shut this off. I know it'll probably do a little better than that, but no sense in pushing it. It's getting as advertised, and we're at 0%. Awesome. Very happy with this. Uh, my lowest voltage right now is 2.966. 2.966. Anyway, I'm going to end the test. All right, well, I'm shut it down. I shut the heater off and everything. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and charge this thing back up, but uh, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, this was a uh, very good exercise. This battery is an Eve, 3.2 volt uh, lithium phosphate, 280 amp hour batteries. Got the full 280 amp hours out of them. And uh, I'm going to recharge these things and uh, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you for watching. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe i'll be doing a few more of these i'm fixing to start building a new camper uh, at the end of the month and there'll be a lot of videos coming on different things on that electrical plumbing air conditioning and such anyway thank you very much and good night